And here we are for probably one last time, okay? Thank you. Thank you all for a terrific semester. You can't believe how much I have looked forward to not only your essays, but also your comments because you have been so personal in your comments. You have allowed yourself to get personally involved in the pieces of literature and in the essays so that you've put not only your ideas, but also your heart, your emotions, um, your real human things into what you say and write. And of course, that's what literature should do for us. So, you know, I told you in the beginning of the semester that my primary goal is to increase your enjoyment of literature. Well, by your getting personally involved, I think that increases your enjoyment of literature. And, and I've just seen that so much this semester. And, you know, my wife would sometimes say, why do you spend so much time on all that? Because I just love what you guys do. I love the work that you put forth. I love the way that I see you folks all being willing to do more and more, uh, to get more deeply into stuff, to think about stuff more to think about how all of these, and they're all, you know, everything we talked about was really relatively simple. But as you put more and more things together, of course, things became more and more complex. And you did a terrific job with that. And even though poetry scares a lot of people, you folks allowed yourself to get involved in there so that those poems, you know, when you did poetry, you were, weren't just trying to figure out what the author was, or the poet was trying to say but you were opening your mind and your heart to those pieces of poetry to let them become one with you. And so you put your own personal kinds of interpretations to them. And that's what we want. We want them to become a part of you. So in this week's assignment, we're looking to a great degree for the same thing. As you know, we're going to be viewing a film as a piece of literature, okay? So as you watch the film, you may have seen it a gazillion times before. That's not relevant to what we're talking about now, okay? As you watch the film, sure, pay attention to the story, even though you know the story. But think about the different things we've talked about, okay? There are a number of significant characters in this film and you see character development in a bunch of them, okay? So I'm going to ask you as your assignment, and it'll be posted in the assignment, to really go into detail on the way one of the characters really does develop. And you'll choose which one, you know? But, but there are, as I say, four or five characters where we see a whole lot of development going on here, a whole lot of change, ways they are different. So I want you to say, you know, early in the film we saw this and maybe tell a little bit of what, what the person did to show what they were like. And then during the film we saw these kinds of changes going on. So I encourage you to jot down notes as you watch the film. And the other thing I'm going to ask you to do is to really tune into the ironies in this film because this film is so filled with powerful ironies. There's one particular scene in there that I think has such amazing, gripping irony that as you watch it, it's like, holy cow, what's going to happen? And oh my gosh, that's ultimately, that's not what I expected, but the tension builds and builds and builds to make this irony even more uh, strong, okay, to become even more ironic as we go along. So I'm actually, even though I'm saying, and be aware of the setting, you know, be aware of the setting. Will I ask you about the setting? No, but if you wanted to, you could bring in the setting to when you're writing about a character development or when you're writing about the irony in there, because the setting is, uh, besides being really significant and and played in beautifully in the story. I mean, the setting is so important um, because the setting helps make the main character. The setting really does help make the main character. And uh, so many of the settings make probably the second most important character in the film, okay? I mean, they, they make him who he is. They give him the opportunity 
to really show who he is and how evil he is, okay? So this is a film that's, that's filled with a lot of stuff, okay? And as you watch it, I want you to be thinking about the different things we talked about in class, but particularly about character development and irony and maybe even setting as it pertains to irony, okay? So, you know, that's, that's pretty much what your assignment is going to be on this. Um, and I'm really, I, I think this is an amazing, amazing film. I think it delves into everything we talked about all semester long. Um, we, we see great examples of it in this film. And, and my hope, and I say this in the lesson, but my real hope in having you finish with a film is that going forward, when you see films, you think, hey, this film is first-person narration. That's a main character actually narrating the film, telling us what's going on. Or, hey, wow, you, the, the setting in this story really played into what it developed. Or, oh, yeah, look at the plot structure. We had a bunch of flashbacks in this film. That's plot structure. Or, what do I think the theme is? It's more than just a story. How could I kind of capsulize the theme in a few words? Or... Did characters develop in here, or did they end up the same people they were in the beginning? So in a sense, is it a flat movie, or do we see character development going on in here, okay? Or, wow, I never expected that. And, and that is so ironic. It's the total kind of opposite of what I expected. And it's, you know, it's situational irony, or, or whatever. That's what I'm hoping happens as you view even TV shows going forward or films that you watch, um, so that you put these things into play because that'll give you a, a deeper understanding and a better feeling for the things you do watch. So my hope is that you don't just say, oh, wow, that was a good story, and, and walk away, but you, you let it become part of you and you think about the action in here. Um, because if that happens, then really um, we've all been very successful here because you've allowed it to happen. Okay, you've allowed the things we talked about to become part of you, to become part of your thinking, and your whole way of thinking, in a sense, has been amended a little bit to see a bigger picture than just the microcosm of the story itself. Okay, so anyway, thank you so much. Uh, you made it a terrific semester for me. You guys all worked so hard. Um, I don't think I ever had so many that wrote so many terrific essays okay um so if you need anything you know to get me and thank you and merry christmas <laughs>